Hello, uh, hello, good evening, programmers. Sorry, Cap. So, uh, what we have discussed actually earlier. So, to start with, so please, uh, you make sure that that, that your exam is um started. So, especially the Apache and MySQL, and then after that, um, uh, you'll need to open your uh, Visual Studio. So, for this time, I'm have actually installed. 2012 earlier we have tried 2019 or only that the problem is with the uh, the framework not the, the framework that we use it's not compatible with the sql connector now we we tried 2010 and still and it's working and also i have here uh tried another visual studio which is 2012 version and it seems like it's also working so first thing you will need to do is um you'll go you'll need to go to project a project and then go to dbms properties and so make sure that the reference is added to your uh, as reference my sql data so this is the sql connector so if you, if it happens that you haven't uh, installed this one or you haven't added my sql data you can actually go to add and then just click on add and then after that if ever you will not find it here uh, my sql that data after install uh, after installing my sql connection still you haven't uh, uh, you haven't able to uh, find it here all you just need to do is go to browse and then click on the browse and then i want you to go to the drive that i have shared so this one and I want you to open BP 2012 and then add my SQL data. So since I've already added this one, okay, just click OK and then make sure it is clicked. So my SQL data. So the version that I'm going to use will be uh, check if uh, for 2012, make sure you add 6.9.8.0. Uh, That's uh, the file version, not the uh, 8.0 26.0. So make sure you click the 6.9, again, 6.9.8.0, and then click OK. Okay, after you click OK, uh, it, it is uh, already added here in your reference. So you can now save your file, so both, so save all. And then uh, after that, you close this one. And so this is the, this is now the folder, uh, I mean the, the GUI that we have created earlier. And then what you are going to do next is you go to pet.db. So right here, this is what uh, the code the, that we have created earlier. So this is uh, the work of the imported MySQL data earlier. So this is the library that we actually added to our reference. And then so that we're able to establish connection. So this is, uh, object of dbcon is the object of mysql connection and then we have sql command as the uh, object also of my sql command so my sql command is used for uh, invoking sql scripts now like such as insert update and delete and then for data adapter and data table we'll be using this one for fetching the records from database and then if, uh, we are going to populate it into our database like through which uh through through data uh data grid okay data grid view so this is the str uh, connection which uh aims to locate our local host i mean our server as a local host uh user with the uh, username root which is uh, we use user id and then of course the name of our database so right after that we actually created a function which is enclosed with try and catch. So again, you have here the instantiation of your connection using the uh, STR code. So it will be uh, placed in the, uh, what they call this one, the constructor. You can also, if you guys want to, you know, uh, use this second statement, you just have to uncomment it, dbcon connection string STR code. Okay, but if you want to retain this one, you can actually uh, just comment this one out. And then 
open and then close. And then this will, if, if you want your program to display test connection successful every, every time you open your program so that to, to verify whether your program or your, your, this one is already successfully connected to your database. So in my case, I will, uh, I will set this out. So I comment na siya. And then this is just an error message. No? To, as I, again, I've told you before that this is just an error signature uh, in case that there is an error of uh, in this particular function, this is the error signature of this function. Okay. And then we also have here a uh, display record function. And the display record function is going to display the records or the records of the database to your data grid view. So you have here two, two uh, parameters or argument, arguments, the string SQL and the data grid, uh, data grid view BG. So this time, uh, you open again your database and close it. So in, in between of that is the instantiation of your data adapter for that, for which is reading an SQL statement and then the connection. Okay, which is the uh, appeal na tong connection string dito. Okay, after that, we instantiate the data table. So you have your new data table. And then we use the uh, data adapter, which is this one, to fill the records. Okay, to fill the database records. Whatever is there no, in the database table, it's going to be filled in, in our data table here in, the, in this program no in, in visual uh, basic and then after that uh since we already populated the records of the, our database from our database to a data table we now assign it to data grid so later on it is expected to be displayed uh, right here now this is the data grid so we expect to display the data table that is being that is being read in from from your database through data adapter and data table data table it is passed through uh data grid that source so data grid that source is equal to the data table after reading the uh, database records and also this is a uh what they call this one this is a a error an error signature so <clears throat> let's go to form one that vb right here uh, for you to, you know, for you to, to call the function or the method that we have created in our pet.db, which is this one. No? So we created, uh, by the way, we created a class pet.db for you to do that, uh, which is this one. So you'll need to go to dbms pet and then add and then class and then type something like uh, pet here. Okay, pet or person, sorry, person. And then of course, since we already have created a pet uh, class, just click on add. So assuming uh, since I already added a pet here, uh, BB, so that's it. And then uh, you will now type these codes here, okay? So now let's go back again to form one.db. So we just instant, uh, we just this, uh, declared an object of pet, which is declared as P. And then a uh, string query for handling the query. Okay, so right here in the form pet load, which is uh, double click this one. So you will be redirect, uh, directed with uh, directed to the form load. So right here you call the DB connection. So in your pet.db, this is what it is called. This is to connect or to establish connection to our database. And then you open it and then you close. If uh, you, you know, if you uh, remove the comment, it will display test connection successful. So let's go back to form that DB. After that, we also call the display records. We just uh, invoke an SQL statement, select from TBL pet. So make sure that the, that the, the table pet is found at, uh, in your table TBL pet, okay, uh, DB pet. So right here, you just pass through STR query there and then dg pet okay so again the tbl pet is a column ah it's a table that is found from our database so let's check if uh, we do have that one 
So let's have my SQL dash U root dash P. Third, and then let's say show databases. So we have here DB pet. So let's use that DB pet. That is actually the name of database that we have used. Uh, sorry, we have used here, right here. Uh, where is it? This one. And then let's show the tables of that database. We have DBL pet, and let's select from DBL pet. So whatever or uh, whatever is the records or whatever records do we have in this table will be populated right here in our program in in um uh, what they call this one uh data grid view so let's go back here <clears throat> so display record str query that's this that's the value select from tbl pet that is, this is actually the same thing of uh the same thing here an sql script and then after that the DigiPet, which is this one. So this that is DigiPet. And, and then let's go back here. Okay, so this one is just to uh this add items to our CPO gender, which is which are male and female. So if you guys uh if you want to uh test this one out, okay, so there you are. So it seems like we are able to establish the connection successfully, and then there so that's the work of display records okay so now let's go back to uh, our pet.db so in the pet.db i want you to create another um, another function let's name it um, sql manager so in the sql manager we have here only one argument which is a query so make sure you open it and then you close your database so once you have that in in between of that block or in between of that statement open and close you have to instantiate your sql command so in instantiating sql command you have the option to either um have this one as the parameters in your constructor my sql command the, the query plus the connection or if you don't uh, want that you can actually use uh, this one okay so the command text is the S is SQL. Then command type is converted into command type that text, and then which connection is it? So it's the dbcon, which is uh, the str connection, which is dbpet, and then execute non query. So which is to execute the invoked SQL statement, which is this one, which is passed through this um, method or function. So the width here, the role of width is that if whenever you don't use the width, you're going to have or you're going to state or you're going to declare or to do this kind of statement in in every in every uh, what they call this one in every statement that you put in the SQL with is SQL command block. So if you guys don't want that, meaning to say. Uh, every now, every time, Kanisha, this must have SQL command, SQL command, meaning it, it would have something like SQL command, SQL command, SQL command, SQL command. Okay, so you have to do that if you don't put with. So let's say we don't put with here. So there, no, it gives you an error because it requires what? It requires an SQL command for every statement. So again, uh, that's how uh, with work. So we don't need it, this one anymore. So if you, again, if you want that, uh, if you want to not include SQL and dbcon, I mean, include the SQL and dbcon right here, you can actually uh, do this one. So this time you can now comment this one, okay? So it would be safe if you put the a try and catch here, just like what we did in in display records. So I want you guys to copy this one message box, and we are going to create in an, an, an error signature. So let's do this try catch and then error signature here. Uh, let's say error one o three. This is 
SQL manager. And then you copy, uh, you cut this one out from, from open to close, control X, and then put it inside of try. So this is for you to, uh, this is for you to save or to, to uh, insert records to your uh, database. So to do that, you will need to go to your form 1.db and go to save button. So right here, if you're dealing with an integer data type, again, you use uh, integer or numeric, you'll have to enclose it with uh, this one, okay? And if it's bar, bar car or it is a string, you'll need to enclose it with single quotation, double quotation, double quotation, and single quotation. So it has open and close. So earlier we, uh, yeah, I have taught you this one to how to insert a record into our database. So insert into TPL pet values. So this is like uh, if we're going to invoke it right here in our in here in our command right now in our S, uh, CLI or command line interface, it would be something like like this one. Okay, so that is what this all about. So if it is an integer. Uh, this one is only need uh, only needed for concatenating all this one no uh, as, as well as this one now to for you to understand it this is actually the the uh, complete statement or code so insert into pet uh, tpl pet values so right here insert into tpl pet values and then so since we <clears throat> we used to or uh, we expect to Take the input from the user coming from uh, the fields here, the, uh, txt ID, txt name, CBO gender, and txt age. We'll need to enclose with uh, that with ampersand. So ampersand means we are going to concatenate the value that the, uh, that is that the user is uh, going to enter in this one, so which is example one o o seven and comma concatenated to txt name that text whatever is that let's say Mike. And then followed by uh, comma again, followed by whatever the user is going to choose for the gender, and then comma and for age. So this is how it is uh, done. So since uh, TXT ID, and if you're going to describe our TBL pet here, since it is an integer, both uh, ID and age. And the name and gender are all characters or string. So therefore, uh, as I have said earlier here, you will use the only double quotation. So right here, you use double quotation with ampersand because ID is numeric, meaning it's an integer value. So for name, you have here the XD name that text, and then you have here single quotation, double quotation, and then the ampersand. Then uh, close it with double quote, uh, ampersands, double quotation, and then single quotation. So you do the same for gender, okay? CPO gender that selected item because it's we're going to select uh, among the drop down list from the CPO, which is uh, this one right here. And then uh, since it is uh, it is a string, you will need to uh, enclose it with a delimiter. Uh, single quotation, double quotation, ampersands, and then uh, enclose it with double quotation as ampersand, double quotation, and single quotation. And then uh, age and ID are the same. So therefore, because it's an integer, you will only need to enclose it with uh, this one. So if you happen to enclose it with, with single quotation and double quotation, this would not give you an error, but the moment you click the save button, it will not be processed successfully. So don't attempt to do that. So now we are. Uh, you can actually test that one out. You now, if you want to know or display whatever is the final value of insert or str query, and then you pass it to. So you don't need this one anymore, by the way. And then you using the object. P that we have declared before or earlier, we just call SQL manager and then str query and then new record successfully added. And then if we want to display the or refresh the records in the 
and the data grid view, we'll need to call again display records. The same with what we did in uh, main function or main method right here. Okay, so that's for adding of records to your database. So let's run the program now and let's add a new record. So let's say 2001, so name. Mark Zell Paste, uh, gender male, let's say sweet 16, save. Okay, so new record successfully added. So let's check if Mark Zell Paste is added uh, there. So Mark Zell Paste is added to your database. So let's check here in our database select from DBL bed. So there, uh, Marzel Bastes added as a new record to your database. Okay, so I guess that would be all for now. Thank you guys for uh, watching this video or this tutorial. Have a great day. Bye-bye.